Yeah. Yeah. So, so I would think, I would think it would be just because I have so much faith in you, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Oh, thank and you. I hear your music. I see you perform on stage. I've seen you sit in a chair uh, during a live interview, play the hell out of that guitar. And I've seen the blood vessels in your forehead just start to pop out. <laughs> I've really? seen this. Yes. And you, you beat the hell out of that guitar when you play it. I mean, you are so passionate about what you're doing. And it and it's just, it's so natural for you. I I think it would just be an atrocity if you never ever had the chance. But see, the thing is, I think everybody has opportunity uh, mm-hmm. in their life. I just think the the key is when you have opportunity, because some people are like, well, I never got the opportunity that person got, and they're bitter. But the thing is, everybody gets opportunity, but they're just not ready for it. But you you're ready for it. You're you're absolutely one hundred percent ready for it, and and I I just all my expectations are for you are just so great, and I just uh-huh. I just can't wait, and I get so excited every time you you post a new video or another song comes out, and 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 talking about this whole project, it makes me excited, and I can't think, and I've interviewed hundreds of people, and I'm going to say this, and I'm not afraid, I can't think of anybody that deserves this more than you. Oh my God! I think I'm, I'm tearing up right now. Oh, would you stop it? Just <laughs> stop it. Up. Just stop it. Okay, now, uh, well, since you're gonna cry like a girl, uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna play crime scene real quick, and then uh, then we'll come back and then we'll talk about some more stuff. Okay, sounds uh, awesome. That you're working on. So here we go. This is crime scene right here on the Chris Top Program. <laughs> Confess. 
you've never heard crime scene, you you were just you just had a treat. And what you're gonna I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna go back and you're gonna replay the show and you're just gonna go straight to the song. Uh, because it's so good. It, see, it's going to help me because my show is going to get like 50 plays, but they're just going back and listening to the crime scene. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it, it's good for me, too. Uh, it's nice having talented people on the show sometimes. You know, because I, I don't really fill that gap. So, <laughs> so it's nice to have you. Uh, now, the the whole writing thing, I don't I don't understand it. I mean, you you want to put out an EP, so, right. so do you sit down and say, all right, I'm going to write songs and I'm going to put out an EP or do the songs just hit you in the middle of the night and you've got to get up and you like go bang on Adam's, Adam, get up. I've got an idea. Or does he do that? Or how does it work? Um, I, I, I haven't really been writing like towards an EP. I kind of just, um, let it come out the way that it does. Uh, I write a lot of different kind of stuff. I write male country. I, I write some pop. I write um, country songs for like younger female artists, so um, I just I don't censor it. I just kind of let it come out the way that it comes out. Mm -hmm. And um, but for this project, you know, I've um, I, I've been narrowing down the songs mm -hmm. for the EP. So I'm I'm working on that right now. Okay. okay, now, <laughs> do you have a greater love for one or the other? I mean, is it is it performing, singing, or is it is it writing? Uh, like, which which one are you are you more in tune with? Uh, I mean, I love I love writing and I love performing my own songs. I mm -hmm. mean, I guess I don't know. I mean, if a record <laughs> label picked you up tomorrow and said, "All right, we um we really love you. We think you have a great look. You have a great voice, uh, but we want you to sing our songs." W would you be happy with that deal? No. No. Would no. you would you take that deal? No. No. All right. So would you take this deal? What if a record company called you up and said, "All right, um, you know, you're 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 a great entertainer, but we've got this artist in mind that that uh, we want to sing your songs. Would you be willing to write songs for this artist?" Yeah, I I would be willing to do that. I think that's actually a lot of what's happening mm -hmm. um, right now in the industry. Um, a lot of people are breaking through. Artists are breaking through by getting cuts with other artists first. Mm -hmm. And they're getting number ones, and then they're then they're getting signed as an artist. I mean, yeah. that's happening a lot. Yeah, you see that all the time. You know, the, yeah. you'll see a, a, a somebody that you think's brand new in the industry, and it's like they've they've already had like nine number number one hits. You know, yeah. sung by <laughs> Garth Brooks, Tim McGraw. You know, and now they're drying. Yeah, Lee Bryce, um, Eric mm -hmm. Pasley. I mean, there's mm -hmm. so many so yeah. many examples of that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, how how many how many songs go on an EP? Uh, I mean, it's different for everybody. Um, mm -hmm. For this one, I'd love to do six. Mm -hmm. I think that would be a good number. So, do you have all are all six written and 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 polished, or are you still working on it? Um, I'm I'm narrowing them down, and uh, I'm still writing. I'm mm -hmm. always writing. Mm -hmm. So, now, do you just have like a big basket of songs that you pick from, and then you you, <laughs> you just sort of polish those up, or do you just sit down and just start writing new ones for this? Um, I think maybe a mixture of both. Okay. okay. I think I've been, um, picking out some older ones and seeing how they are. And then I'm still kind of keeping an open mind to maybe, um, writing some new ones for it. So mm -hmm. yeah. we'll have to see. I'm not, I'm not sure. Like if I can, if I can raise this amount to do it, um, we'll have to see how it ends up. I think it's going to be like a last minute decision, honestly. Okay. 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 Uh, is it? It's got to be frustrating sometimes. I would think so. You, you get this great idea for a hook. You're you're laying around and it hits you, and then you you sit down, and you start to write it, and the song just doesn't come together. I mean, does that happen, or are you just are you just like, oh, you wrote, you sit down, and you write a song in twenty minutes? Because you hear stories like that all the time. Yeah. You know, oh, I wrote that hit song, that number one hit song, in twenty minutes. You know, <laughs> now it's on my box set. It's on my greatest hits. They made a tie commercial out of it. And now somebody else remade it. You know, it's like, how, how do they do that? Um, I think a lot of songs that I've had, like I get an idea and like, I get a couple lyrics and uh, just a vague idea for it and I'll go back and then one day out of the blue, I'm not even expecting it. One day the rest is going to hit me. Mm -hmm. Like that kind of happened for me. I have a song called the wrong side and, um, 
I had the idea for, I was back at home for in Pennsylvania for a little bit. And then I, I was coming back into Nashville and I got this, uh, I got a bunch of lyrics and, but, that, but I didn't get the whole song, but I got kind of a vague idea in my mind of what it was going to sound like and the melody and everything. And then like two months later, literally the rest of it just poured out onto the paper. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, I, you know, I have no idea how that happened. Like I can't even, I, sometimes I, I think I can't even control it. Like it's just out of nowhere just and I have no idea. You. I have yeah. no clue. Like with crime scene, Adam came home with this idea and I was like, yeah, you're brilliant. Mm-hmm. And um, we sat down to write the music and I, I, I have, I have no idea. I just don't know where it came from. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I can't even explain. <laughs> it's just so weird. <laughs> and I love, I love it though. Uh-huh. I love songwriting. Well, it's, it's love cool. It. I mean, you just have a gift and that's all it is. You just have a gift. And now do you and Adam, do you collaborate on everything or are there, are there going to be some songs on the EP that he just wrote alone or that you just wrote alone? Um, I'm not completely sure. Um, I do have a song I wrote by myself that I'm considering and, uh, we do collaborate on a lot of things. So, um, he might have a song on there. I'm not completely sure yet. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Now, if, if somebody wants to, wants to throw some cash your way, is, is the Kickstarter campaign, is it already up? Yes, it's up. It launched this past um, Monday the 2nd, mm-hmm. and it's going on until March 4th at 4 p.m. The, it is literally at 4 o'clock. The last, the last you can pledge it ends at 4 o'clock on Wednesday, March 4th. Okay, okay. So, And, and how do they find you there? They just go to kickstarter.com and put your name in? Yeah, you can do that. I've also got links um, in my Facebook, and if you just go to my Twitter Twitter page, you can see, you'll probably, I mean, you'll probably find it on there. I've got people tweeting it and retweeting it and it's all over the place on there. So oh, <laughs> I need to get to work. I need to get to work, don't I? I need to do some retweeting. So I like to retweet <laughs> your stuff. <laughs> um, now, if somebody wants to get a link to everything, they can just go to your website, right? Yeah. And, yeah. and what's the website? It is www.alenasmusic.com and you spell that A L A. Y N A S music.com. Okay. So, so that's where they go. If they just want to get to anything and if they want to throw some money at you, then they can, they can go there and try to, and figure that out as well. Yeah. And I've also actually got, um, seven free songs on there. You can kind of check out what I've already got going on Mm -hmm. and there's links to my other social sites, YouTube, um, Facebook, Twitter, which has links to the Kickstarter as well. Okay. So that'd be a good way if somebody wants some of your merchandise, if they want to, donate some money to your Kickstarter uh, campaign and they can, they can probably get some of the merchandise they want. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, and what's, what's some of the stuff that you have that you sell? I know you have t-shirts and I know you have CDs. Yeah. I've got a CD, uh, EP. I've got a t-shirt and a poster. Okay. Um, yeah. but those are, those are running out. Actually, that's part of my Kickstarter too. I have, mm-hmm. um, uh, limited quantity, I th- quantity. I think I'm doing like 50, only 50 people can pledge. There's a $40 level for that poster. You need, and, a, uh, you need a life-size the, the, cutout. What? You need like one of those life-size cutouts that stands up, <laughs> like with you banging on the guitar and the and the blood vessels popping out of your forehead. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> that would be fun. I'd do selfies with that all the time. <laughs> but yeah, me and Lena, we're hanging out at Walmart, you know, today, just chilling. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> uh, now, what was the uh, the inspiration behind wasting gasoline? Because I want to play this song too. Um, that was a title that I came up with and, uh, not really sure. I think I just wanted to make it a fun song and Adam collaborated with me on that. And Mm -hmm. that was about it. I think think (laughs) it just happened. Yeah. You just wrote it up. You just picked up your, you picked up your (laughs) magic pen and you just wrote it. Uh, but no, I guess the first time I heard that was at the Commodore grill. Um, and, and you played it live and I thought, Oh, that's another hit. (laughs) Uh, it's just good uh okay so we're gonna play wasting gasoline elena right here and go to elenasmusic.com and donate some money what are you what are you waiting for (laughs) this this woman is trying to get her her ep out there and you got to support her uh so wasting gasoline right here on the chris top program Since 
I don't know when, but today it's shining bright, and it's finally.